Hey everyone, in this update, we're gonna be talking about a major pattern change with an intensifying La Nina that's gonna bring some wetter conditions into Oregon and to parts of Washington, but as well as bringing much below average temperatures into the central and southeast and northeastern parts of the US and also bringing some severe weather into the Ohio Valley, parts of the Northeast, as well as the Carolinas. So uh, if you've been here before, uh, welcome back. If you are new to my community, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you will get daily updates and keep you informed of all things weather related. So let's kind of delve into the details. What we're kind of looking at right now is the overall uh, weather map for tomorrow, Sunday. We've been talking about this pretty strong cold front that's going to be come, moving through the plains. We could actually have some severe weather break out out ahead of it and parts of Arkansas and bringing some much colder temperatures uh, starting Sunday night into uh, the Dallas Fort Worth area, bringing a round of showers and storms, and then definitely some much colder weather uh, back behind it. Now, if we expand the view until Monday, that cold front actually swings all the way down into the deep south, bringing those well below 10, 15, if not 20 degrees colder temperatures than what you saw on Sunday. Now you're experiencing 20 degrees colder temperatures for your Monday afternoon uh, temperatures down in the good chunks of uh, Texas. And that cold front will be swinging all the way into the southeast. And we actually even have a stronger one that's gonna be coming back behind this one for later on into the week next week. Now, if we take a look at the overall temperature anomalies and what that actually looks like by Monday afternoon, when Sunday you were experiencing highs in the upper 80s, now you're gonna be actually experiencing highs down into the to the 70s, if not 60s, in uh, parts of Texas. And like I said, that colder air reaches all the way down to the southeast this time bringing those 15 degrees below average temperatures in parts of Louisiana, uh, Arkansas, getting into uh, Alabama, as well as the Tennessee Valley. And like I said, this is this colder air will only uh, shift further south and intensify with a stronger push later on in the week. But by Wednesday to end September, we had some much uh, below average temperatures for a good chunk of uh, the middle part of the country for September. And we had well above average temperatures where it's been so dry in parts of uh, California and to Oregon and to Washington. But like I said, after this, we are gonna experiencing some sort of relief for Oregon and to Washington with some rain moving in from the Pacific as we start October. But down below, as we end September, all that that colder air will reach all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, bringing those 15 degree below average temperatures all the way into the panhandle of Florida. So that's going to feel really nice uh, to end September and October pretty much starts the same way with a reinforcing shot of colder temperatures coming into the central plains, diving into the southeast, and this will intensify as we go uh, throughout the week. But the overall big picture, we're actually going into a La Nina pattern. Uh, the NOA, NOAA uh, classified us as La Nina back on September the 10th. And this is an overall depiction of the ensemble members and kind of what we're looking at. And you can see pretty much all of them have us in a La Nina phase. And this actually intensifies, ironically, as we go into a winter and looks like it somewhat tries to peak as we actually start winter. But how it's going to be a little tricky is it actually comes back up and possibly gets back, uh, gets back into the neutral zone by the time winter is over, you know, coming to an end by the time February, uh, the middle of February into March rolls around as we in, as we go towards the later half of the winter months. So that'll be a, a tricky forecast coming up for your for your winter forecast, which I'm actually going to be working on uh, probably next weekend. I'll be releasing that. So be definitely looking forward uh, to that for my official uh, winter forecast. But if we take a look at the big view and kind of what we're over looking at over the overall pattern of what I'm kind of expecting 
over the next you know three to six months is this the developing uh, La Nina that's that's going to be amplifying we've got some well below average uh, cooler waters in the equatorial Pacific um, and that's going to be you know depicting that was drier pattern for the southeast and, and parts of Texas but you see this warm air this warm water this is an amplified ridge you can see the polar jet it lifts with the La Nina bringing those above average uh, temperatures but also increased rainfall for uh, the northern parts of California and to Oregon as well as uh, Washington so this will be the overall pattern I think is going to play out over the next three to six months as this ridge really starts to amplify, increases the, the jet, and as this swings across, dives down into the central part of the country, down to the south, you'll have those drier conditions tapping into those cooler waters into the Pacific. So you will have some increasing drier conditions in parts of the southeast into Texas and southern uh florida but in the middle of the country we're gonna have to be starting to deal with where that clash zone kind of meets into the ohio valley into the parts of carolina parts of the northeast where we're going to be experiencing probably above average rainfall but also uh, some severe weather you're going to be starting as well with the second severe weather uh, starting and of course uh, further than that is you'll be having uh, you know colder shots that's going to be coming into the middle part of the country diving down into the to the northeast as well as the southeast as this extends the the pattern but like i said we're going to be dealing with with those cooler those cooler temperatures on that secondary front i do think we're going to be and starting to get into that second season of severe weather so with that second front with that amplified jet lifting to the north I do think you're going to have a severe weather outbreak uh, coming up probably Thursday into Friday as we start October for parts of the Ohio Valley, uh, parts of the Northeast. And this will only, as that cold front swings further south, will intensify and swing down to the, to the Carolinas by the time Friday rolls around, bringing some severe weather, possibly, uh, you know, amplified pattern of a damaging winds and uh, hail as well as an isolated chance for uh, tornadoes but back behind that front um, after the severe weather ends we're going to be experiencing those well below average temperatures again reaching all the way down to the deep south all the way into florida uh, this time bringing those 15 almost 20 degree below normal temperatures for the southeast coming up saturday morning so that's going to feel uh, phenomenal and I'll show you what this actually looks like for parts of the southeast a good chunk of the southeast we're talking widespread 40s for Saturday morning low temperatures for Louisiana Arkansas um, you know Alabama Mississippi Georgia all the Carolinas even parts of the panhandle of Florida is going to get into the action and, and the Tennessee Valley so you're going to be experiencing those 40 degree temperatures probably the coldest air of the season uh, coming up by next Saturday the uh, October 3rd so definitely be looking forward to that it's going to be jacket and sweater weather for sure and like I said that actually just in intensifies I mean we have re relentless that flow keeps the northern northerly flow alive bringing those well below average temperatures uh, to the central and eastern parts of the U.S. And then where that ridge intensifies out west, you'll be experiencing those well above average temperatures um, out west. So, you know, 10, 15, 20 degrees above normal out west and 10, 15, 20 degrees below normal out east. <laughs> so it'll be, it'll be kind of split. So you can kind of see in the overall rainfall for the next uh, two weeks with it almost has that La Nina pattern verbatim as the amplified jet lifts. We've got elevated uh precipitation for Oregon uh, Washington with increased rainfall and getting into the northern uh, California and this will spread down into the central part of the United States but I do think we're gonna be probably at this time be tapping into uh, if not uh, a, a storm in the Gulf possibly going into uh, Florida or parts of the southeast bringing above average rainfall uh, for the southeast uh, so you're, you're, you're going to be experiencing over the next two weeks an amplified rainfall as well as the cooler air 
for parts of the southeast so i appreciate you guys uh tuning in and watching this video if you did find value please hit the like button comment uh below and definitely catch me in the next video where i protect you before and after the storm